Now, let's read. Reader's Theater The Earth Day Garden by Susie Wall Illustrated by John Bennett Brandon, come here, young man. Hey, Sarah. How's it going? It is not going anywhere. If you mean, how are you, Sarah, then I am fine. Yes, ma'am. What are we doing today in the Green Thumb Club? You, me, and the other kids are going to tend to the blueberries. They will be ready for picking in just a few weeks. That means you'll bake blueberry pies. My mouth is watering just thinking of your pies. My mom says you should sell them. Nonsense. I make my pies for you and the people who live around here. You may not be my flesh and blood, but you are still my family. Now let's tend to those blueberry plants. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Brandon. Blueberries? Yum. I dreamed about your pies last night, Sarah. Well, Mary, I dreamed we had more berries than ever this year. I like that dream. Hi, guys. Can I help in the garden? I'm dressed for getting dirty. With these old hands, I can use all the help I can get, Willie dear. Today will be our last meeting for a week. Tomorrow, I am going to visit my old friend Esther in Florida. She is not well. We will take care of the garden while you are gone. Don't worry about anything. The next day... Sarah flies off to Florida. Brandon, Mary, and Willie take care of the garden just as they promised. Mr. Alvarado helps, too. The neighborhood is lonely without Sarah. She is one of a kind. She has a big heart. And she always speaks her mind. I wish we could do something special for Sarah. You know what Sarah was mad about the other day? Squirrels were eating her plants, and dogs from the empty lot were digging up the flowers. That bummed her out. Maybe we can fix the gate so those stray dogs stay out. Just then, mean-looking dogs come into the empty lot. Get out of here, dogs. I wish they would go away. But they love that empty lot. It is full of junk. That's it! The dirty lot! Let's clean it up while Sarah is gone! Sarah will like that. We will surprise her. We could turn the empty lot into a community garden and fix up Sarah's garden at the same time. How? My dad says that lot has been a mess for years. It is filled with mice. I can hear them running around at night. Yuck! Later that day, Sarah calls Mr. Alvarado. She is upset. I need to stay with my friend for a few more weeks. But by the time I get back... My berries will be overripe. I won't be able to make my pies. I will let the neighborhood down. You take care of your friend, Sarah. A garden can always grow again. Mr. Alvarado tells the kids the bad news about Sarah. It's so sad about Sarah's friend. Yes. But our surprise will cheer Sarah up. How do we start to clean up the empty lot? Let's figure out what to do, then divide up the work. We do that at school for all the big projects. 
I'll go to the stores and see what the owners will give us. You kids walk around the neighborhood and get volunteers. My dad has a big truck. I'll ask him to help take away the junk. I'll go to City Hall and tell them our plans. We need to get there okay. Hey, I just thought of something. Sarah is due back the third week of April, right? Around Earth Day? April 22nd, the day we celebrate Earth. We could turn this project into a gift for Sarah, the neighborhood, and Earth. The Green Thumb Club and all the neighbors work hard. Three weeks later, Mr. Alvarado, Brandon, Mary, and Willie welcome Sarah home. What a reception. Oh, how I missed you. Come here, children, and give me a hug. We missed you too, Sarah. But when you were away, we had some problems with the garden. Oh, no. You know how the squirrels eat the seeds? Oh, dear. And how those wild dogs from the empty lot dig up your flowers? I knew I should have come back sooner. Well, we figured that we had to give them a reason to go somewhere else. So we took away the junk and replaced it with the thing you love most, green space. Oh, my word. Is this the same vacant lot that I left behind? Where is all the trash? Where are the weeds? The whole neighborhood helped. Even the city helped. Your garden is so alive that we spread new life into the next lot. We're sure you won't mind sharing. But this project is also a gift to another mother who loves green space. Mother Nature! Happy Earth Day! I don't know what to say. And we picked the berries when they were just right. Look! Three pounds of beautiful berries! Yum! My dream has come true. I have more berries than I know what to do with. I think I'm going to cry. This is no time for crying. You are right, young man. It's time to make some pies. <laughs>